there's no requirement that says that you have to get an inspection if the only thing you're doing is wholesaling the property. Generally speaking, you're gonna make your buyer get an, inspe uh, an inspection. And you're not gonna make them get an inspection. Let me rephrase that. You're gonna suggest that they get an inspection, but if they choose to forego an inspection, that's, that's their privilege and their prerogative. So you don't have to get one. We get appraisals and inspections when we're planning to purchase the property. Sometimes we, we plan to purchase a property and we end up wholesaling it. So on those type of properties, we do get a inspection and we'll get a appraisal done. And then if we decide to wholesale it, we just pass that information on to our end buyer. Chances are that your end buyer will need to get an inspection or an appraisal if they're gonna be using finance. And like, we're also private money lenders. So when we lend money out, we require inspection and an appraisal, and we require bids from a qualified licensed, bonded and insured contractor uh, for the repairs. So those are things that you do have to do if you're planning to purchase the property, if you're planning on flipping the property. Most people that are wholesaling are not intending to buy the property. They're literally intending to get it on the contract so they can sell it to someone else. You could be transparent in that when you're talking to people. There are ways that you could dis disclose that, hey, either me or my partners are going to purchase this property. If that's your goal with it, you don't necessarily have to get an inspection done. It's nothing that says that you don't. It's not free. So if you're one of those people that's trying to get like your deal done and not have to come out of pocket anything, you're going to have to pay to get that done. But you can always have that added and build onto your buyer if, if you figure out a way to do that. Uh, but it's not a requirement.